Hello, ladies and gentlemen, probably mostly gentlemen out there. Welcome back to another CSGO News show and probably the last show of the year of 2017. So first of all, I do want to start off today's episode by saying thank you all for being here throughout the entire year. I really do appreciate all of you guys who leave comments down below, who leave likes on the videos. And uh, yes, this will be the last episode until 2018. It's just crazy to see we've been here all year long making videos and I do appreciate you guys. So thank you all for watching. Let's hop into our first story though. It's a big one and it probably couldn't be even be any better for a last story for this episode of CSGO News. And and that's going to be alleged rumors out there that apparently Tai Lu will be forfeiting their major qualifier spot. Now this has never happened before, especially with this new format for the major itself, but it does seem Tai Lu will forfeit their spot entirely, allegedly based off rumors right now. They are only rumors, but definitely heavily speculated and most likely true. Apparently Peacemaker, after not getting a sticker for playing on the team, he also wanted a portion of the team sticker money because he wasn't going to have his own sticker. They denied that request and that is why he actually forfeited the match and decided not to play for them. Now because he was their past coach, and due to their roster changes, they ha they have no other subs they can actually use to make the major rule, the three out of five rule. And so that's why Ty Lu is probably not going to be there. But even more so, we actually have some big effects coming off of this, guys. And a lot of you are asking questions. Is, is, is the team going to sub in for them? Uh, is Ty Lu still going to have stickers? Are they still going to get sticker money? So let's overall, let's evaluate the situation out of what it is. And we are still waiting as of right now. By the time I post my next video, I'll talk about this. Hopefully, we're going to have a response uh, uh, via Ty Lu as well as Peacemaker on the situation as of right now now me recording this. Uh, there has been no response from Ty Lu ever since they posted these tweets about Peacemaker who was going to be their sub for Ben Tet, which apparently did fall through. So no no post, no response from Peacemaker or Ty Lu on the situation yet. The big question obviously right now is what will Valve do? Will they respond or will E-League respond about this? And again, I really do want to point out that Ty Lu, it just goes to show you guys how little faith Ty Lu had of actually qualifying for the major when they decide to forfeit the match instead of trying to play it out. Of course, having to pay the travel fees or they actually decided to forfeit the match instead of paying the money to Peacemaker because they figured this. And again, this could be a genius move. They figured that instead of traveling all the way to the major, instead of actually paying out Peacemaker his 20%, whatever percent he probably wanted the stickers, they decided maybe take the risk. Let's forfeit the matches. We won't have to pay Peacemaker, but we'll still get our sticker money. We won't have to pay for travel, all those expenses as well, but we're still going to make a good amount of money off stickers. That might be exactly what they were thinking because the, let's be honest, guys, the odds of them actually qualifying for the major were slim to none. They were going to get no money out of this besides the sticker money. So they, they maybe thought, let's take the risk, guys. Let's hope that Valve still gives us our sticker money. And again, that's probably a genius move until Valve should take away their sticker money. Because if they don't, this could be a big problem in the future. If we stick it out with this format, we could have many teams out there. Let's say a majority of these majors are usually in the EU or they're in the North American scene. Let's say let's about half of them are North America. Well, many teams out there that are going to qualify from the Asian scene, the CIS scene, maybe the smaller teams can't afford to actually travel all the way to North America, much like a Tai Lu. So instead, we could have these CIS teams and Asian teams slip through to the major qualifier, and instead of actually paying all the travel expenses to go to the major qualifier and not qualify for the major, a team like maybe Team Spirit or a Vanguard or Quantum Bellator or exactly like Tai Lu, they may decide to actually not go at all and still receive sticker money. So Valve does have to set a precedent here. They should revoke Tai Lu's sticker money. Now, of course, bouncing off that though, many of you guys wondering the big question right now is will Tai Lu's stickers go contraband? Will they be worth a lot of money? As of right now, the prices for those stickers have jumped drastically. I would advise you guys not to buy stickers at these prices, which of course I think is a bit ridiculous. I really don't think those stickers will go contraband. I think Valve is trying to avoid the contraband items ever since of course the how came around other items out there that people have speculated going contraband have never really worked out in terms of the artwork uh, skins out there that have kind of failed to go contraband so I highly doubt it guys Valve's probably going to try and avoid that we'll see what happens though they do need to respond sometime soon before people start buying all these stickers and of course this will also affect your major pick em challenge for all the people out there who already bought the Tyloo stickers to you know maybe put them in the 0 and 3 bracket or a few of you guys out there who maybe thought they were going to actually qualify itself I'm not really sure how they're going to respond to this and also very lastly Will there be another Asian minor team, of course, the third place team instead to replace Tai Lu at the tournament? Will they invite Flash Gaming, who did get third place there, right above MVP, uh, that team? So who knows what's going to happen, guys? A big, big thing coming soon. Hopefully an announcement from Valve and hopefully more announcements from Peacemaker. He promised us a video as to what was going on in his life. I'm not blaming the guy. I just think that I, uh, there's something skeptical going on right now. I'm not sure it's 100% Peacemaker's fault. I think Tai Lu, though, very skeptical of why they wouldn't pay him the 20% if they were going to make a good amount of money at the major. 
major anyway. That's why I think they really had no personal confidence they were going to qualify for the major, and that's why they decided to actually have this kind of sneaky way of somehow getting sticker money. We'll see what happens, though. Uh, yeah, just some crazy CSGO news to start off the day. And also in CSGO news, last night, thanks to all of you guys who do send me this kind of stuff, we had Scream's Twitch hacked. I think this might be the second time it was hacked. I know about this past summer we had several pro players and their Twitch get hacked. There were some incredibly racist things said, but on the bright side, there were also some very funny things said, like this one on screen. It made me laugh. I don't know. I don't. I wasn't sure this is actually a direct reference to Mo TV, the crypto Mo stuff, or the fact that Mo gambles a lot and he loves coin and loves money. No currencies. The Naga wallet centralizes yeah. crypto power. Hell yeah, that's what I want. Like nothing that has ever existed. One wallet. Before, and it one dream. Up the financial markets. Who really knows though? But Scream, I do believe, has back in control of his Twitch account, guys. But it was hacked for a small amount of time last night. On top of that, though, even more importantly for all you Brazilian and SK gaming fans out there, I thought some kind of sad news as we did have Taco uh, reply to Thorne's tweets out there. I'll give you guys the string of conversations. Uh, we had uh, past evidence in interviews where apparently SK Gaming said they were not even practicing with Phelps before the major, and it seems this actually has been true. So for the time being, I'm not really sure if they, of course, did their boot camp already with Phelps, and that was enough for them, but it does seem for the time being they are still practicing with Bolts. Now, why they are doing this, I would assume maybe for the future they're trying to work out their game plan for the long-term future. So, of course, maybe the major is not the biggest worry on their mind right now. They feel like they can still do well uh, just putting in Phelps out of nowhere. I do feel bad for this guy. You know, we see his tweets all the time, like, don't worry, Brazil. I know you guys don't want me to play, but I will do my best at the major. I feel bad for him, but it does seem he is pretty much offset the team. Um, but, yeah, they're not practicing with Phelps, and we'll see how they do when they uh, play with him for, like, the first time in a long time at the major in, in, in January. So we'll see how that works out. Also on that, on top of that, though, guys, uh, very last in today's episode of CSGO News, we have some breaking stuff for all of you. And that is in the UK scene. I'm really not sure what to th say about this or how to word this. I mean, I think Christmas miracles or New Year's miracles are working their way around the scene right now, and especially for all you UK fans out there. I think we've touched on just about every category, the Asian scene, the Brazilian scene, now, of course, the UK scene for all you fans out there of Smuya. He has announced he will be a part of the 2018 Epsilon roster. Now, for those of you guys who are not aware how this is actually a miracle, he was on their bench for several months now, and it sounded like throughout 2018 until the end of 2018, he would be on their bench making like $700 a month. He complained a little bit. It seemed like he was pretty much indefinitely going to be on that roster and not even be bought out because apparently his buyout was about 50 grand, which is a bit extenuous for a, for a player like that. Not to downgrade him at all, but it does seem the new Epsilon roster will be a majority UK roster if you include their coach. So it's going to be cool to see you guys this roster on screen. I thought it was really sneaky thanks to my man Karma. He caught the deleted tweet, but then of course Smuya did resend the tweet, guys, and it is, it is official. Um, not HLTV wise, but Smuya apparently leaking Epsilon rosters now before they even announce it. And they will have his former teammates there, former teammate Cosmine, actually an Epsilon player himself. And we do have Robin. He's actually from the Danish team. Uh, he's a uh, team singularity. So some good solid players for this roster. I don't think it's going to be a very sh shocking roster you know, to blow anyone's minds away. But I'm very, very thankful and very cool to see Smuya actually back on a starting roster and hopefully being paid what he deserves to be paid throughout 2018. So hope you guys all enjoyed. That's going to be my last video until 2018. I, it's just, I can't thank you guys enough. I've had so much fun this year and uh, hopefully going to have some great things coming in 2018. I do still have some big videos planned though for the next few days. I'm going to try and record them now. We'll see what happens. They shouldn't be out till early January though. I'm going to do my major pick em challenge. I have, I have a good, I, I think I have a good mindset for this going to be a gold trophy pick em. I think it's pretty easy this year. We'll see how that works out. I also have, of course, some other uh, investing, a major investing guide for all of you. And on top of that, I'm going to try and get my sister Jenny, of course, for a QA, which I promised you guys like so long ago. I'm working my best to actually convince her guys I have to pay her some money and uh, I'm broke. So hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of CSK News. If you guys did, please leave a like. More importantly, a comment down below. I will see you all in 2018. So please enjoy your New Year's guys. Happy holidays. And uh, remember, I like you. Goodbye.